Hey, hey everybody. Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody. Show a crow. I did a show with June Carter, and she walked on stage with her purse on, and I was like, "Do you need a purse?" And she goes, "I know, but I'm just gonna walk right from here and just go on out to my car, <laughs> black TV." <laughs> so I always think about that when I bring in my crap. You want me to shut that thing up? Is it in your eyes? What's that? Ooh, that light. What yeah. is that? Oh, is it that thing? It is. Um, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get that? Uh, we the projector. Oh, here it is. Right here, yeah. Although, that's such a pretty girl there. Look <laughs> <laughs> about airbrushing. Yeah. There, there we go. go. How are y'all? Good. 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 Um, I have a song out at Country Radio. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm the pig and poop. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I live, I live in Nashville. I moved there about seven, well, I moved there about eight years, a couple of, on eight years. I moved there right after I had, uh, got diagnosed with breast cancer. I was diagnosed, got a lumpectomy, flew to Nashville, bought a farm. And then later on I thought, I think I probably was crazy, but it was the best thing I ever did. Um, and uh, been lovingly embraced by the country community, which is nice. So I finally bit the bullet and made a record specifically for country, and I hope some people like it. Um, this song, Easy, that's on the radio is about staycations. Um, it's about uh, what happened a couple of years ago when gas prices were so high and nobody could go anywhere, I couldn't afford any vacation, so um, I wrote a song sort of in my retort to um, Toby and Kenny and um, Zach and everybody that writes about going to the Caribbean. This is my stay in the backyard and drink beer song. <laughs> We said this summer we'd go down to Cancun No money makes that kind of hard to do Forget the beach, I'd rather be here with you Playing croquet, okay, maybe that's not true But you make it easy Oh, 
opened the Hard Rock Cafe whenever it opened. Uh, Hard Rock Cafe, Hard Rock Hotel, yeah. And I was laughing because you can kind of sort of look at your career according to um, some of the bad outfits and the bad hairdos that you had <laughs> for the last few years. And the last time I was there, I walked in and right next to the elevators was a big plexiglass case of a silver outfit. And yes, that's what I wore. <laughs> Our rock joint. I looked at it and I was like, what was I thinking? Uh, um, I came out a long time ago uh, to, I guess, basically, uh, um, gr uh, not grunge, but like the alternative scene. A&M um, put me out at Alternative because that was kind of the hip, hip format. And then we wound up at AAA and had quite a few years there. And then just recently, um, I was dropped, or lovingly patted on the butt on the way out the door <laughs> by Interscope Records, which was actually a blessing because I was living in Nashville and I just kept saying, I wish somebody would take me to country um, because I always just felt like the songs I wrote were, you know, kind of stories and guitar solos. And um, luckily, once I got dropped, um, I went to Warner Nashville and they are my new um, my new home. And it's been just, it's been so great. Um, but there were a lot of songs in there along the way that I kept thinking. I feel like hell tonight Tears of rage I cannot fight Be the last to help you understand Are you strong enough to be my man? My man Nothing's true when nothing's right So let me be alone tonight Cause you can't change the way I am Are you strong enough to be my man?
have a, um, I have a terrible memory for one thing, which is why my lyrics down there, but I noticed that when I look down at them, I always screw up. So, not any point in having them. Um, I moved to Nashville and met some great people in the um, country world, and one of them was Brad Paisley. And um, one of the reasons I met him was that his wife and I became friends because we have kids that are the same age. And his sons are Huck and Jasper, and mine are Wyatt and Levi, and they're all best buddies. And we're like, with those names, if they don't have a kick-ass country band, <laughs> the time they're in junior high, we suck as parents. Um, um, anyway, Brad was the person that came to me and said, when are you going to make a country record? And I told him I was worried about it because I just didn't want people to feel like I was kind of trying to scoot into the cool format and he's like no you've been doing what you've been doing for a long time and now it sounds like you know it sounds like what country is doing so i said if you'll help me do it that'd be great so he um he uh he said he would all that i needed to do was turn my vocal up and write words that are not were not as image imagey but more straight to the point. So um, he's been very wonderful in helping me get my record off the ground. When it comes out in September, there's a song on it called Waterproof Mascara, and um, it's about being a single mom. Um, uh, but I'm gonna play you this other song instead because that was too hard for me to get through. Kid Rock about, it's probably been 10 years ago. I've known him for a long time, and we're very good friends, and he is an awesome dude. Um, but uh, kind of rowdy. <laughs> he's been kicked out of the best Waffle Houses in America. Um, anyway, he's, he is a, he's a good guy, though. And um, we wrote this song together, and I took it home to my family. I'm really close to my family. I played it for my mom and dad and my siblings, and everybody's like, oh, we love it. Play it again. So 
I played it again, and then my mom and dad were like, we love this song. We want to hear what else he does. <laughs> I was like, maybe not. <laughs> called you last night at the hotel. Everyone knows, but they won't tell. But they're happy smiles. Tell me something just ain't right. I've been waiting on you for a long time. You and a part heartaches and cheap wine. I ain't heard from you in three damn nights. I found your picture today. I swear it changed my ways. I just Today, I swear I changed my way. I just called to say I want you to come back home. I've been long, long away from here. Put on a poncho, played for mosquitoes, and drank till I was thirsty again. Been searching through thrift store jungles. Found Geronimo's rifle, Marilyn shampoo, and Benny Goodman's corset and bed. I'm okay. I made this up I promise you I'd never give up If it makes you happy It can't be that bad If it makes you happy Then why the hell are you so sad? Yeah.